Cut. This is Dave Daly for the Salem Chamber Forum Series, and we're bringing you into the world of Riverbend Dental. I'm rocking the dental scrubs, the dental dentistry goggles, and uh, we're really excited to bring you here. And I want to introduce you to, to Dr. Ross and Dr. Aldridge. Thanks for having us today. And uh, for our audiences here, uh, Dr. Ross, what is Riverbend Dental? Riverbend Dental is a small uh, general dental office where there's two female products. Uh, okay. Okay. We're a small, Sorry. what are we? We're, we're an independent general dentist office. Okay, ready. Okay, here we go. All right. Yep. Um, so that intro is fine, what I yep. did. Okay, yep. and I'm just going to say, so Dr. Ross, what is Riverbend Dental? Ready? And, okay. And, and Dr. Ross, what is Riverbend Dental? Riverbend Dental is an independent general dental practice where Dr. Aldrich and I have been serving this community for since 1992 as hygienists and since 2008 as dentists. And uh, Dr. Ross, there are some, ah, to you, Dr. Aldridge. All right, get my mind break. All right, all right. And Dr. Uh, Aldridge, there's some great points about Riverbend Dental that really set you apart. And what are those? Well, first off, we're two female providers, which is something that is a little unique in our community. And uh, we're a growing business that. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. So this part. Um, okay. I, I, well, and, and I should we just name the principles of. Because she mentioned two female practitioners, right. why don't you take us that we ta have a high uh, attention to technology mm -hmm. and patient care? Okay. How's that? Okay, just yeah, just, that works. just okay. to take those Do two it. little yeah. su summation points, and then whatever flows from there, you know, our dental. You know, we have okay. the only water filtration system uh, that, okay, uh, in the area. That area, and we, put, yeah. we focus on whole health. Yeah, whole health. Whole health, whole yeah. health prevention, and um, yeah. Because okay. so. she kind of covered the basics and right. the years, I want to delve specifically why, what the uniqueness, uniqueness. makes sense? And so, yeah, so our attention to oh technology God. and patient care, not only of, you know, dental health, but their overall well-being, mm -hmm. and also some things where we're trying to lead the, the cause on technology are our filtration system, you know, however that you want to say okay. that, I think that'll be a good thing. And then just make sure we bleed the conversation that way so they don't we just see the side the of your head. the best technologies, or is that... Um, we, we conservative technologies, uh, progressive technologies. Uh, keep going. Okay, here we go. So, so you were gonna say, uh, um, and and patient care. Uh, doctor, yeah, patient care and our attention to technology, or application uh, of technology. Do you like that? The application of technology to patient care and general and not prevention only, yeah. and general, ooh, it's too much in one. It's yeah. too much in one yeah. thing. So what is your question so, again? So what, so, sets so what, what sets Riverbend Dental apart, and I was gonna have her say, well, our attention to patient care, and not only on behalf of us doctors, but our staff as well, and our application of technology from our water filtration and just whatever flows down that avenue. And the way we do that. Makes sense? The way we do that is. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. And Dr. Aldridge, what sets Reber Bend Dental apart? Well, it's our attention to patient care, whether that's how our staff treats our patients and how the doctors do too. We also have an emphasis on the technology, but not just technology, how technology makes patient care better. And so we have digital radiographs to cut down the radiation exposure. We've got monitors in all the rooms so that we can really show and intro cameras to show people what's going on in their mouth. And then while they're having treatment done, that can be also doubled to play a movie for someone, make them comfortable. Uh, we have a water filtration system, which provides clean water to all of the dental units, which is really important. That's been a problem in dental offices. Um, Cool, we'll cut right there. She nailed it, wasn't that, that awesome? That was awesome. High five. Okay. Yep. Couldn't have scripted it better myself, folks. Here we go. Okay. All right, so we're gonna bounce to, uh, all right. Okay, gotcha. Um, Which one are you doing? Well, I'm gonna ask you about why uh, Salem Chamber membership, why is that important to your, to this practice, okay? You ready? And you were going to say community, community and our in, networking. Uh, networking and our involvement. Involvement. Yeah. We and said something about business. Community. Yes. And the business. Okay. Involvement with the business community. Yeah. 
particularly small business support? Yeah. yeah. And the support they give us is a small business? Okay. How does that sound? Yep. Okay. And Dr. Ross, uh, you're a proud member of our Salem Chamber of Commerce, and share with our audiences why you love being a chamber member. Actually, we've been really excited to be a member of the, of the chamber because um, as a small business, it's had a tremendous amount of support for us. The networking and the sense of community have been phenomenal for our business. Excellent. Way that to go. That was excellent. Good job. <laughs> Dance on tape here. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we watched that dancing on tape thing. <laughs> I told the gals, I said, yeah, this is what he wants to do. And they oh, were that's like, right. And they were like, oh, that would be fun. Oh, my oh, gosh. Yeah. It's going to, I guarantee, 20,000 views. Uh, yeah, that is going to be awesome. It is going to be huge. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, um, and, and so this question I'm going to ask you, so pretty thing. Okay. So I'm going to say, you know, there's a lot of dentists in the Salem area, and what makes, um, well, we kind of covered that in technology. Don't you think we can just kind of get past the uniqueness of the technology aspect of yeah. it versus yeah, have to call out our, our other dentists that we do this better or that. Because right. it does say what sets us apart and I think patient care technology is answered in that previous question. Right. When you think? Mm -hmm. So let's just move to the next one. Um, okay, so I'm gonna say having this practice since 2008, there's been some principles that it allowed it to be successful and what are those principles? How's that sound? Okay, so or, then well, we talked about well and, I'll, and well, and I'll see, yeah, that it has allowed your practice to go from two to nine employees. And what are these principles? I like that sense of business growth. And I can intro that so you can just kind of talk about okay. integrity, patient, uh, patient care, patient care and coming back after multiple visits just because we really care and get to know their name and personableness. I don't know, maybe something like so that. So loving what we do, great community, and I think that's where we need to say the whole the whole patient, treating the whole patient. Yeah. It's not just about the mouth, it's about the whole person. I like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So Dr. Aldrich, having been at this practice since 2008 and grown your employees from two to nine, those are some signs of success. And what are some principles that have allowed you to accomplish these great results? Well, one of the things that we always have to focus on is integrity of our practice, and you can't do anything without that. Also, we look at a patient as not just their teeth and their mouth, it's about the whole person, and we absolutely believe that, and we treat people that way. And, you know, these people come to be our friends and family because they come back and, you know, we watch the kids grow up, we watch people go through things, both good and bad, and we love that. Awesome answer. That was awesome. High five for you. There we go. We're not holding back. That was okay. an excellent answer. We went okay. through all this stuff and it just all came right. out even better. Okay. So I'm going to say your proudest moment. Okay. 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 All right. Now we know no business gets by. Hold on a second. I don't want to say no, no, no business. No. Okay. Um, we know all now, Dr. Ross. Now, Dr. Ross, we know through this down economy, many businesses. Uh, have had to really be smart in how they do business and is there a proudest moment that you could share with our audiences that you can feel great about? It's always when you see the patient walk back in the door. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you didn't scare him off. Okay, yeah. They didn't come back. Yeah. Had a temporary folks, he had to come back, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> So I mean, that was too long of an intro. Dr. Ross, what's our proudest mo moment here at Riverbend Dental? Something like that. At Riverbend Dental, our proudest moment is start again. Um, okay. Actually, the proudest moment happens every single day. It's the day that you see the mother bring in her child for the first time, and she's excited because you're going to help them, help her learn how to care for her child's teeth. Um, and it's also just giving somebody the smile that they've always wanted and didn't think they could have. Wow, that's fantastic. Let me intro that cleaner a little bit, okay? Okay. And that was a great answer, don't you think? Okay. Answer, yeah. All right. And Dr. Ross, uh, what's our proudest moment here at Riverbend Dental? I already said it. Okay, no, but I, but I didn't intro it. You just kind of started saying it. But I think I'll just edit it and it'll go with it. Okay. Because you said our proudest moment it is, and it answers the question, so we'll just take your answer. Because it was really eloquent. It was good. Let's yeah. not mess it up, okay? I'm afraid I would. Yeah, okay. Proudest moment, biggest lesson learned while running your business. You want to take that one? I, I can't say that one. Okay. So, um, Just a minute. It's, um, I was going to say get rid of them sooner than later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bad no, patients or bad employees? 
What do you mean by that? Employees. Okay. Yeah. No, no. Just, the greatest lesson learned is we knew it was a great community, but we know even now with the growth and how the community's embraced us that really location and community is where it's at. How about that? Yeah. Is that okay? No? You're yeah. done? That's good. It's a problem. Well, but I think that articulates your proudest moment of, of helping that mom and seeing the patient smile. I think let's just go with that. Okay. Because I like it. it, just talked about that every day. Let's delve into now your entrepreneurial side. So you were hygienists and you had something inside you that wanted to be your own boss. You wanted to run your business. And why, well, why did you do that? Make sense? So I'll ask you that. Is that fair? Sure. And maybe you might want to say, you know, I, I felt I wanted to serve people in a greater capacity. So I went back to school and got a great vocational training and it's just really rewarding to be able to serve in a greater capacity. We went to school to be hygienists, and while we were there, there was so much more to offer, and we'd been small town country girls, and just decided we could probably do this later and be doctors. Yeah. That's what we did. I like that. No, that's exactly it's, what it's a great was. unique story. So yeah, I would maybe. So how 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 would I ask that? How would I? Um, what would be an easy way to come into that? Or should we have her ask that? Because you kind of nailed it in a smooth way. You could kind of just say, um, "How is it? Why don't you say how is it that we came to be partners?" Well, and it's about being small business. So okay. how is it, did you Why become to be small, small business, business partners? Okay, we can do that. Makes sense? Because yeah. did you, were you hygienists in the same location? No. We oh. have been friends okay. for 30 years. We went to school together as friends wow. to okay. be hygienists. So let's, I'll talk about that, okay? Okay. All right. So are you going to me or you? Uh, I'm going to go to you because she just answered the last okay. one about um, proudest I'm moment. Kind of a so. No, you're doing just fine. <laughs> The camera is halfway down the middle. There's no hogging. Here okay. we go. <laughs> All right. And Dr. Aldrich, uh, you are now in a partner team. And coming from being a hygienist to being a doctor, it, it took on a self-employment small business uh, endeavor. And what is it that uh, you're excited about being a small business owner? Well, you know, when we were hygienists, that was something we very much enjoyed, but we always felt like we wanted to contribute a little bit more. And so we waited till our children were grown up and went back to become dentists. And we've been able to realize that dream. And having been friends for 33 years, can you believe that? Um, we knew we wanted to be partners together in a business, and there's really no one else that I'd rather do that with because a partnership is a very special thing and can be very difficult. Wow, fantastic answer. Wow. That's, why I That's wonderful. Her. Okay. All right, um, we are, okay, we got four minutes of tape left, here we go. All right, so we're gonna talk about charitable causes, okay? What did you say about charitable that Charitable causes is um, that, that uh, we get approached by many organizations and schools, and, and we support, and individuals, our patients, and we support every time we can. It's really okay. important to us to support our patients. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay. good? Sounds so good. We, you come in, we we'll get approached go. regularly, okay? All right. And Dr. Ross, when it comes to charitable causes, I don't want to say that. Okay. And Dr. Ross, when it comes to charitable causes, how does River Bend Dental support our community? Actually, um, as business owners, we get approached by individuals and businesses and really good causes all the time. And so we try to support our patients and community every chance we get. Very excellent. Good job. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. All right. Where do you want to see Salem in five years? You want to take that one? Sure. All right. All right. And Dr. Aldrich, where do you want to see Salem in five years? Well, we would like to see small business grow in Salem because it is the backbone to our community. Wonderful. Okay. And what advice would you give to others? I think it's articulated in the principles we said. Don't you think it's redundant to kind of go and yeah. into that one advice you'd give? Okay. All right. We'll wrap it up. Okay. Right, you, want to, you want to give advice? What do you think? Um, if you guys were new in business and you could have had some advice, do you think it'd be nice to have in this format some principles to live by? Try not to overborrow. I like that. I mean, that that's something Try to not to over. I love that comment. Or over purchase. That is really smart. Manage your expenses. Yeah. So I mean, we can say we started Let's out. Let's do that. And surround yourself with great people. I love that. Start out Let's with do that. And then grew okay. And grew it as our business group. Gotcha. Um, so, Dr. Ross, what are some points of advice that you can give to the other businesses here uh, watching this event? I would say, first of all, don't overborrow. What's he using? I've got to start again. Choose good people. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
So, so Dr. Ross, to our audience here today, what are some business tips that you can give to our audience? First of all, watch your debt load, don't over borrow, and surround yourself with great people. Fantastic. So thank you very much, Dr. Aldrich, Dr. Ross, for having us uh, here today. We really enjoyed not only them, but their staff's been great. And for every one of you out there, make sure you visit the, our great Salem Chamber com website, salemchamber.org. It's a great place to do business. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on a second. <laughs>